So listen, I know your girl has been on a extended hiatus <laughs> and it's been really nice taking a little break, a little vacation, you know, just kind of doing my own thing. But as you guys know, if you follow me, I love makeup and nothing about that has changed as you can see, <laughs> but I'm definitely ready to get back on track, start making some more videos for you guys get back into the makeup, get back into my love of makeup. And the first thing I need to do is do a shop my stash. I haven't been wearing makeup, so I really don't have anything just pulled out already ready to go. So that's what I'm gonna do today. A quick little shop my stash. Um, this is my current room setup. As you can see, it's still <laughs> a work in progress, but it does what it needs to do. So let's get this shop my stash going. Typically with my shop my stashes, I go into my skincare drawers because I like to always pull skincare for my makeup, you know, routines and things like that every day. But lately I've actually been doing my skincare in a different bathroom, which is a bathroom in my closet. And I already have items pulled. So what I'm going to do is just take you guys in there so you can take a look at the skincare that I've already been using because that's what I'm going to be using to get back on track. Okay, you guys. So this is actually my closet room. And if you guys would like, I can do a tour of my closet uh, one day. It's a lot. So <laughs> that would be one of those videos that I'd really have to prepare for. But this is my actual closet room. And so in my closet room, as you can see, I have a little bathroom in here. And this is where I keep my daily skincare items. I try to keep it condensed, nothing crazy. Okay, so I'll just go through each item I have here this balanced restoring serum i did get this in my boxy charm so i have been testing this out it's very very nice i actually really like the moisture and hydration that it puts into my skin and so yeah i've been enjoying that i also got this in my boxy charm this is the elements superfood midnight facial so it's like you know a sleeping cream or sleeping mask put it on overnight and then wake up with really really nice soft hydrated supple skin so i've been using that um i also have been kind of trying to focus on like the dark circles under my eyes wrinkles and things like that so this is from wildcat uh it is the orchid stem cell magnolia berry eye gel so i just started trying this out the other day so we'll see how that goes the older i get it's like the dark circles under my eyes are just getting worse and worse and so I really want to make sure that I do something to try and help that out if I can. For my daily face wash, I'm using the e.l.f. Daily Face Cleanser uh, with purified water. I just like this. In the mornings when I wake up, wash my face with this. Nice, lightweight, nothing heavy, and it's just a great everyday morning cleanser now in the evenings if i do have makeup you know that i'm going to be taking off i wanted to try this out haven't tried it yet this has been in my little skincare drawer um it's the elements pro collagen rose cleansing balm i love cleansing balms i love rose and like i said i'm really trying to focus a little bit more on collagen for skin tightening and firming and things like that so i did pull this so that i can go ahead and use this whenever i have makeup on to take it off you know for a double cleansing when i do tone i do have my juvia's 
glycolic toner. So this is 10% glycolic um, toner. And I like this. It, it does have a little bit of a tingle when I apply it with a cotton swab. You know, I kind of like when I can feel my skincare products doing something. So I do like this when I've used it. So I'm going to keep that. I also pulled this. This is the uh, Alginous Genius Sleeping Collagen. It's like a cream, you know, another cream or sleeping mask type situation. Very, very thick. I like to put these on when I really want to wake up with nice, soft, supple skin. So this is another moisturizer like that for taking care of your skin. And then um, <clears throat> I do have my Fenty Skin Cookies and Cream Mask. I have been loving this stuff, put it on. It has the little beads in it. I don't know if they're like charcoal beads or what. It's a detox face mask. Um, but yeah, it has these little beads in there. I think they are charcoal. And what happens is when you rub it on your skin, kind of like an exfoliant, they burst open. And so it just... It's really, really nice. My skin feels great after I wash it off. So I've really been enjoying the Fenty Skin Cookies and Cream Mask. I do plan on purchasing that again when I run out. So these are the skincare items that I'm using. Let's go ahead and pull the rest of my makeup products. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull a foundation off of my little foundation tier here. Um, it's really, really hot here in Vegas. If you're not <laughs> aware and you do follow me, I did move to Vegas and 100 degree, 110 degree, it's crazy. So most times when I leave the house, honey, I do not even have makeup on. But occasionally, you know, when going out to dinner and things like that, I do like to kind of spruce it up a bit. But I do want to um, pull some foundation that's a little bit more lightweight and I'm really thinking about um this Fenty Beauty here what is this the ease drops yeah so I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull this because this is not too heavy it's a little bit more lightweight and yeah I'm gonna go ahead and pull this I typically like to choose more than one foundation. Sometimes I'll go with a higher end and a drugstore. So I'm kind of eyeballing this NYX uh, Born to Glow. This has been one of my favorites in the past <laughs> for a very long time. So I'm thinking maybe this, but I also kind of had my eye on another higher end foundation, which would be the Clinique. Now I have this Clinique, um, what is this, the Stay Matte Oil-Free Makeup here. This one I really, really like, but since it is matte and it is full coverage, it might be a little bit heavy for me. This Clinique here is, oh, it has like broad spectrum SPF 15. So this one actually might be good for right now. So maybe I'll pull this one as well with the Born to Glow. And then I will have these three uh, foundations in my shop, my stash. Next, let's quickly pick a concealer. Um, I kind of want something that I can use for a while. I don't recall. I think I tried this NYX um, Bear With Me Concealer Serum maybe once so i'm not sure but i believe this is more lightweight so i think i'm going to go ahead and pull this as well since it is lightweight it's been quite a while since i really um even looked at my makeup quite honestly so this kosas concealer here i believe this is probably no i think i bought this from the last sephora sale i believe so you know what let me go ahead and pull this because i don't believe i've even tried this yet so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and pull this kosas concealer the lighting is kind of crazy it looks like shade 08 now when it comes to mascaras i actually have a couple that are already in my drawer that i never took out that i feel like i need to go ahead and finish before I pull a new mascara. I think I have the Thrive Cosmetics in there, actually. Um, let me move this over. Drinking on my green tea, you guys. But yeah, I believe I have, yeah, I do. I have Thrive Cosmetics in here. 
Um, so I'm pretty sure I'm just going to keep using this mascara for now because this is absolutely one of my favorites and I need to do a mascara declutter honestly anyway so let's just keep using that okay so now let's go ahead and grab a powder I believe I have my powders down here I do well some of them these are some loose powders that I have um <laughs> This is Prime Beauty, I believe, which is one of my absolute favorites. Um, yeah, the writing is <laughs> rubbed off. But yeah, this Prime Beauty, oh my gosh, I could use this all day, every day. Absolutely one of my favorites. So I might pull that. But you know what? I really have not used like my drugstore um, loose powder in quite a while because I got stuck on the Prime Beauty. So I think I might go ahead and pull this Maybelline Fit Me powder. It's a really, really good powder. Haven't used it in a while, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull this. Let's pull one more powder. I don't know what it is. I always like to have two <laughs> of everything. This Huda Beauty powder is really, really nice. Um, I purchased it, honestly, just to use to set under my eyes, but the shade of it actually goes really, really nice for setting my whole face. This is Cinnamon Bun. I love this powder um, and I have quite a bit of it. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull this as well. Now, if you remember anything from my last Shop My Stash videos, then you will already know the Kat Von D is currently my absolute favorite setting powder. This is actually, is this a powder foundation? Yeah, this is a powder foundation. I use the shade Deep 200. I have about five or six of these because I have one in here. I have one in my closet bathroom. I have one in my bedroom bathroom, one in my purse, one in my travel kit. I have this powder everywhere. It's my absolute favorite. It just looks amazing on the skin. Let me see if I can open this up right quick. Yeah, <laughs> as you can see, look at that. It looks amazing on the skin. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna pull this just because it's my favorite and I have to have it in my daily drawer. But I also um, recently got this Charlotte Tilbury powder. It's the Airbrush Flawless Finish number four. And I only tried it out maybe once or twice. Um, haven't really gotten to get my full thoughts on it so I feel like I should definitely try this out a little bit more so let's go ahead and pull this now I do feel like I need to pull a lighter powder for under my eyes I like to have a pressed powder uh, for under my eyes sometimes as well but I'm not sure where all my powders are my lighter ones um this NYX can't stop won't stop uh, I don't really recall loving this powder to be honest with you under my eyes but maybe i should try it again just to get my final thoughts on it this one is in the shade golden so yeah i'll pull this for under my eyes brightening purposes and try to get a more precise you know opinion on it so let's pull this okay you guys let's look at some blush um, I just purchased this blush, blush recently from Sephora. It says S Clean, and it's like cream blushes in here. Absolutely gorgeous, really, really pretty. And this one here has a bit of a glow to it, I believe. Yeah, you see that? It's so pretty. I know it's like this lighting is crazy, but that's what that looks like. So this here is kind of like a... Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> but yeah, let me go ahead and swatch this right quick. I'm not going to do a lot of swatching because I don't want this video to be too long. Um, but yeah. Absolutely gorgeous, delicious, beautiful cream blushes. So I think I'm going to pull this because I do want to use like some cream products. I also want to pull my Patrick Ta um, blush palette. I purchased this, you know, when it first came out. Haven't really got that much use out of it. This one has some cream and powder blushes in here, as you can see. Sorry about the shine and the glare, but yeah, just trying to get it to where you can see it. These colors are gorgeous, and I think these are nice 
for the summertime. So I think I'm going to pull this as well. Okay, you guys, let's look at some highlighters. My drawers are like in the corner right now, so it's kind of tricky with filming and getting a decent, <laughs> a decent angle for you guys. But we're going to make do today because we're just jumping right in and, you know, we'll get it better off in the future. This Fenty Beauty Cognac Candy. This is actually really, really gorgeous. But the thing is, I feel like, okay, why is my thing coming apart? Really? Child. Now I know that's not supposed to happen. Hold on. How do I open? Oh, okay. Child. Anyway. <laughs> um, it's gorgeous, but I feel, ooh. Oh, that feels so beautiful. But I feel like it's a little bit glittery for my liking. You know, when I put it on my face, you see that? This is something that I probably put like on my collarbones and stuff if I was going out to the beach or something. But in the pan, doesn't it look beautiful? But yeah, it's a little bit more glittery than I like. So I'm gonna pass on that, right? You know what? Maybe I should pull it. It probably would re look really nice on my collarbones, but I don't think I'm going to be doing all that right now. <laughs> so, uh, let's see here. I want something kind of rich and warm. Um, ooh, Revolution Pro. Okay, let's take a look at this. Something that, oh my gosh, damn. I guess I had more damage to my makeup when I moved than I realized. Everything looked fine. But <laughs> now that I'm actually digging back into it, it's like, oh. Now the issues are starting. But this is what this one looks like. I'm going to go ahead and try and, you know, either repress that or um, get that back in there securely somehow. But that's what that looks like. Let's take a look. Oh. Yeah, see, that's pretty. That's pretty much what I'm looking for right now. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and fix this compact so it's not moving around. And I'm going to pull that. So, this is the Revolution Pro Skin Finish Golden Glare. And maybe I'll go ahead and pull uh, a liquid. See if I can move you guys down a little bit. There we go. Like a liquid or a cream highlighter i love those and i feel like summer is the perfect time for these so i have this grand glow which is absolutely beautiful this is gorgeous on the cheeks and then i have this wet and wild hello halo i love this one too so let me just see if these are okay since i'm having issues with my products today you see that glow that's beautiful so I don't think I need to pull both of these. Let's see which one I like better for my cheekbones. Ooh, Lord have mercy. That's a little aggressive right now. <laughs> That's beautiful. But yeah, that one is a little bit aggressive. I think I'm going to go with the Wet n Wild because it's not as aggressive right now. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pull this. Now, I'm kind of of the opinion that you can never have too many highlighters to choose from. Okay, so uh, let me take a look at this. This is from Sosu, Dripping Gold. I know this is gorgeous. I haven't used this in a while either. And this is another one of those beautiful gold tone highlighters. Beautiful on deeper skin tones. Yeah, that's gorgeous. I think I'm going to go ahead and pull that as well. Very easy to use. Very pretty. Okay, so let's go ahead and pick a couple of bronzers. Maybe a bronzer palette or two. Um, since I said I wanted to use some cream products, I might go ahead and pull this um, Fenty Cheeks Out Chocolate Bronzer. It is a cream product, as you can see. I haven't used this in quite a while, and we all know cream products don't last forever. So I think I'm going to go ahead and pull this. Also, let me see here. This is really pretty, actually. This Revolution uh, Splendor Ultra Matte Bronzer. This one is in the shade Dark. Very smooth, very nice, affordable bronzer. So, 
this might get pulled as well but i do kind of want to um pull a palette actually so let me look at the palettes okay so i actually did do a nice declutter um i don't know if you guys will notice that i have kind of decluttered quite a bit of my makeup in my drawers <laughs> might not seem like it but i have um this makeup geek haven't used this in a long time it has the bronzer the blush and the highlight in here so it's like a trio situation um a very unique contour bronzing type shade but the blush and the highlight absolutely beautiful gorgeous sun-kissed color for summer so i might actually pull this i think i will pull this for now and let's see i have my um what are these the black radiance ones i have this cab cosmetics that i got in my boxy charm i used it a couple of times and from what i would call it wasn't too bad, but it wasn't like the best bronzer and contour type situation. Um, volume 2. Huh? I'm going to pull this and just see if I can develop some more firm opinions on it. So yeah, we'll pull this. I almost forgot I needed a primer, you guys. Um, <laughs> as crazy as this primer drawer looks, I actually decluttered my primers quite a bit. So, even though it looks crazy, I did get rid of a lot. I usually like to grab like a mattifying primer as well. It's kind of like a jelly primer or moisturizing primer just so I can have both options. Now, I got this NYX uh, Plump Right Back Electrolytes, I don't know, Plumping Serum Primer. It was like a free sample I got from Ulta when I purchased something not too long ago. I guess I'll try this out because I haven't tried it. Not sure, you know, how it works. Um, I have here my Ulta Beauty Mattifying Face Primer. I know I love this. This is one of my favorites. Haven't used this in a while either. So I think I'm going to go ahead and pull that. But you know what? <laughs> I really have not used this Tatcha in a long time. And this stuff is super expensive. I believe my girl Lily got this for me. <laughs> and... Um, I want to go ahead and put this into use as well. I don't know how often I'll use it because I believe it is more of a heavier, thicker type primer on the skin. And with it being so hot out here, I might not end up using it that much. But I'll go ahead and pull it and see what happens. Now, I don't typically choose lashes with my Shop My Stash. I just kind of pick them as I go when I'm doing my makeup. But I did get like this combo pack of lashes. I believe like from TJ Maxx or Marshalls or something um, quite a while ago. And there's a really, really nice combination of lashes in that, you know, multi-pack. And it was just like some off-brand that I had never heard of. Um yeah and it has the names here like boss babe doll uh boss babe what is that show off ladylike <laughs> and they're really some really pretty styles so i think i'm probably going to try these out um yeah but like i said what does that say yeah i don't know what brand this is they have an instagram there though true beauty dot products so anyways, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and plan on using these during my next makeup looks. Now, I already have some setting sprays here in my little, you know, desktop acrylic. I have my, um, what is this, Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless. This is amazing. I also have this um, Beauty Bakery uh, Grace what is this? Yeah, setting spray. Uh, I don't really know how I feel about that. I've used it a couple times and it's not my favorite. I have my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist, of course. And then anytime I leave the house <laughs> for a long period of time, I am using my Urban Decay All Nighter. This is the Ultra Matte one. I know they have different ones now. But yeah, those are the setting sprays that I'm going to be using. They can stay right where they are. Okay, so lastly, you guys know, I like to go ahead and show you guys the palettes that are on my to-do list. 
or the ones that you know are intriguing to me that I really want to kind of play with. This one is the Playing and Makeup by Yolando Relentless Eyeshadow Palette. I purchased this not too long ago and it's just been sitting on my shelf. And I know it's not a brand new release from her, of course, but I couldn't resist with the shimmers and the colors that are in this palette. Oh my gosh, it's just amazing. So yeah, I definitely am looking forward to playing with this. You'll see that a lot of the palettes that I have in my <laughs> to-do stack here are pretty colorful or have pretty bold, bright colors because for a while, I had kind of like shied away from doing super bold colors and things like that. I think I kind of, you know, just as you get older, kind of felt in a mood to kind of do more toned down neutral looks and stuff. But just looking at the different eyeshadows that I have in my collection, I was like, you know what? I'm ready to get creative again. Go for it. So this is what we're doing. So this is the Beauty Bay midnight and it's a 42 color palette so gorgeous okay so let me show you what this one looks like hello <laughs> hello i wish i had my lighting or my flash on so you can see these beautiful shimmers and how they look to me because child they are gorgeous but you guys know i love the purples and blues so i did go ahead and pull that i also picked up this new release from her brand launch this is from b marie's brand and this is called dazzle tings from b for b fierce beauty you probably recognize her if you know who b marie is but this is her first well to my knowledge her first palette and this is what it looks like of course if you know her you're not surprised that it is full of beautiful colors beautiful shades and I have a lot of variety with this palette. So even though I have a lot of colorful palettes that I have pulled, I plan on doing different, you know, creative colorful looks with each palette. This one here is the Blooming Lovely palette from Sample Beauty. Had this for quite a while as well. But this color story, y'all, get into this. It's just so beautiful. It kind of reminds me of like Easter because the colors are all over the place. There's no like rhyme or reason to it. It makes me think of like a basket of Easter eggs, but very, very pretty for the summer. So that's the Blooming Lovely. Grab that. Now this palette from Playing and Makeup by Yolando, the Love, what is it called? Love Epidemic. <sighs> when I open this palette, and this camera is not gonna do it justice. Look at this palette, you guys. Oh, the purples, the reds, oh my goodness. It's beautiful, it is just absolutely gorgeous and I can't wait to play with this. Just, I wanna do something really creative with this. So I'm excited to use this. Uh, let's see, oh, I just picked up the Blend Bunny uh, Cosmetics Primal Palette. I do love their Surge Palette. I have this in here as well, just in case I want to combine the two together. But this one here, the new one, this Primal, it's more of like just the basic rainbow colors. I grabbed it because I like the fact that it had the rainbow colored shimmers in it to go along with, you know, the mattes. So you can do a complete monochromatic look if you want, mix it up, you know, whatever the case may be, do rainbow looks. And it also has a matte white and a matte black. So for people who like to kind of blend shades out, tone them down, you know, deepen them up, the white and the black really come in handy. So yeah, I picked that up. And then like I said, I've already used the Surge palette. Love this palette to death. Oh my goodness, this gold right here. Oof. So anyways, pulled those. I'm most likely going to use this primal by itself, but I have both just in case. This Sample Beauty Painters Palette, I've had this in my collection for quite a while. Another beautiful, colorful palette. But as you can see, this one has some beautiful browns and neutral shades in it as well. I feel a palette like this is great for traveling. 
um, if you don't mind taking, you know, a little bit of a larger palette because you have more options with this with the neutrals and the colors. So, yeah, I pulled this. Not sure if I'm going to need to use this, though, with all the colorful palettes I have, but I pulled it. Um, let's see what else is in here. Oh, this ColourPop palette. I picked this up. I don't know what it is about ColourPop, but they get me to buy almost every single one of their palettes. <sighs> this one has the pretty greens in it just beautiful i mean it is gorgeous i couldn't resist i tried to resist it because i know i have all of these shades already but i couldn't resist it just the combination of these shades together in one palette and being able to create a look with them was just too tempting to me so this is the getting fresh palette from color pop i don't know if that's what i called it before but that's what it is um i also have this palette here it's called the big purr and this one, Icy Wifey. This is from Icy Wifey Cosmetics, I believe. Is that the name of their brand, child? Yeah, Icy Wifey. <laughs> but look at this palette, you guys. Look at those shimmers. I've already used a few of the shimmers in here. They're outstanding. Absolutely beautiful. The pop and shine and color on your lid. When you just rub these across with your finger, it's out of this world so yeah i pulled that just so i can play with it some more also i have here the latest nomad palette they did send this to me haven't used it yet but definitely looking forward to it this one is the province palette beautiful beautiful color story as usual you guys know i love nomad cosmetics eyeshadow palettes and the more colorful ones are the ones that really speak to me so this one is really, really pretty. I think I could do a nice, bright summer eye look with this. But they do have a few darker shades in here. If I want to go smoky, I can do that as well. So yeah, this is the latest from Nomad Cosmetics. Very, very pretty. I also pulled my Danessa Myricks palette because, crazy enough, I haven't used this yet. I bought this eons ago when it came out i made sure i got my hands on it you can see my grubby little fingerprints but yeah i was supposed to use this a long time ago her light work palette and from what i understand she's coming out with or has already come out with an edited version of this for people to purchase but yeah it's like this camera does not do this palette justice um, I definitely want to use it, get some swatches going, and just really love on this palette. If you weren't able to grab it or pick it up, I'm so sorry for you. So sorry. I feel for you. Okay, next. <laughs> this palette I have been trying to purchase probably for a good two or three years, okay? Every single time I go to get it, it's sold out from Menagerie Cosmetics, the Flight Club. When I saw this was available couple of weeks ago I jumped on it immediately and ordered it <laughs> I mean at this point I definitely have beautiful purple palettes that have similar shades in them but I just for some reason had to have this palette and so I want to play with this do a beautiful purple look I fought hard to get this palette so I'm going to use it um, this palette here, I went back and forth with whether or not to purchase it because I didn't know if it was like some type of demonic palette because I don't know what 669 means, child. But I went ahead and took the chance <laughs> and grabbed it. This palette has been out for quite a while. Very beautiful, grungy, smoky colors. And I can't believe I have not used this yet. But I actually purchased this like right before I moved. So earlier in the year, beginning of the year, I bought it from Beauty Bay. Not sure if I was able to get it on sale, but I think I did. So anyways, grab that so I can do something grungy and smoky, even though it's summertime. And the last two palettes here are this Anastasia Beverly Hills. I just um, saw this when I was in Sephora um last week and this is the nouveau palette i know it's been out for a little while but yo this mug very very different very very pretty fell in love with this color story in the store it's just really gorgeous so yeah i want to see what i can do with this very very pretty 
And then lastly, my Patrick Ta. This is the Major Dimension 2. And, you know, as you guys know, this is more of a beautiful, warm, neutral. Kind of, um, what would I say? Kind of like burgundy-esque, pinky tone shades. But yeah, absolutely gorgeous. And then as you can see, it has the cream shades over here. Child, I do not want to drop this. But yeah, it has the cream shades over here. So you can actually put your cream down as a base. Make sure it's nice and pigmented. Go in with your mattes and your beautiful shimmers. So yeah, this palette is just gorgeous overall. The whole packaging, the shadows, everything about it. And I cannot wait to use this. So yeah, those are the palettes, you guys. So that's it for my shop my stash you guys i hope you enjoy choosing my new makeup products to use um for the next few weeks yes i am back and i'm excited to start doing some more makeup videos tutorials and just talking about makeup in general so let me know down in the comments if you guys have any of these items what your thoughts are and if you plan on shopping your stash this week so thanks for watching you guys and i'll see you on the next one Toodles! Yeah, yeah.